you you to learn but you need to know the basic things first of all okay but still i'll take it on monday so monday will be our last class okay everyone of you and you want to attend any other day in between sunday so everyone differences between standard and advanced agents what are the differences first of all processing wise processing wise what is the difference between standard and advanced agent when do you go for standard agent it is used for work object processing that is for that is called transactional processing standard agent used for transactional processing advanced agents are used for non transactional processing so when i say transactional processing what is the example suppose policy activation an insurance policy you want to activate so you complete up, up to approvals in the workflow the next flow step in the approval of the workflow is did we discuss this standard agent we worked on it or we did not work on it queuing item and all worked on it right okay so policy activation like this any further work of processing you take it into standard agent So advanced agent suppose our cable process. So our cable process, our cable process means you are going to tag the backup of the data into another table and free up the source data. You are going to archive it some place. Okay. So our cable process and emails, regular emails. Every day I want to send emails. So for that I can go for. There is no work of it involved in this. Just find out active accounts, send an email. okay you can go for advanced agent so now so standard agent when you go for aqm standard agent with aqm uses prpcs auto queue management technique what what we call it technique or something prpc is auto queue management facility or whatever it is okay so that means when standard agent wakes up when a standard agent is going to wake up first it will look at the queue table and suppose queue table 10 10 uh, you have 10 entries with the status schedule for this agent so it is going to execute the activity 10 times suppose there is no queue item then it will go to sleep directly okay when the standard agent wakes up it looks at the queue and if at all there is any queue item then only it will execute activity otherwise there is no queue item it will go to sleep so but advanced agent once wake up it will directly execute agent activity agent activity it will directly execute agent activity okay so without bothering about queue see if you look at the agent mechanism agent rule form there standard agent you have aqm check box advanced agent also you have aqm check box see advanced agent is been given with a provision to use aqm as well so standard agent is going to use prpc is defined aqm whereas advanced agent when you apply with aqm queue mechanism has to be designed by developer queue mechanism has to be defined by developer means 
if you select the checkbox of AQM on advanced agent, it will not use AQM feature PR SysQ stable. It will not monitor. If it monitors, there is no meaning of standard advanced. We can make it one only. Check or uncheck. That's it. So standard agent, when the agent mode is standard and you select AQM, that is going to look at the queue table and process the queue items. Advanced agent, if you select AQM, then you have to implement your own queuing mechanism. Means you design the complete queuing mechanism. Means you have to design one table on your own. Okay, you have to go ahead with the method queue for agent and modify the same to create another one to queue the items into queue for agent activity, modify it to create another activity where when you do queue for agent, it should insert the queue items into new table that you have created. Okay, this queuing mechanism you have to implement on your own. Okay, next thing is see. In gen general, in production, agent rule will be deployed on multiple servers. In production, for an application, you have multiple servers. Agent, when you deploy on production, four servers it will run. Suppose every day morning, seven o'clock, I have given. So now, when you deploy this agent on production, four servers, four servers it will wake up. Now, your agent is going to have four different, uh, go going to run on four different servers. Server one, server two, server three. Morning, seven o'clock, agent will wake up. Now four threads it will create. So now seven o'clock all this will go ahead and look at into the agent queue table. So queue item one is being picked by agent one. What about the second one? What happens now? Immediately the first agent on server one agent is picking the queue item. PRPC acquires a lock on this. Next, suppose agent on server 2 is going to try for the same queue item. What happens? Same concept, work of it locking concept. Like, okay, it is been locked. Okay, it will go to next set. So, PRPC will prevent. So, this mechanism of locking is been already defined in the PRPC's AQM that is available when you apply standard agent with AQM. So, when you deploy standard agent in multi node environment. So this locking of the queue item as well as suppose you use OBJ save the commits of transactions all these will be taken care by PRBC AQ mechanism okay transactional commit all these will be taken care by PRBC and locking of the queue items will be taken care by PRBC. So in a standard agent standard agent with AQM queue item locking commit of transactions will be taken care by PRBC. Coming here, advanced agent, we have to implement, okay, advanced agent with AQM applied. We have to implement our own queuing mechanism. Our own queue mechanism and then locking and transaction command should be done externally. By us, we have to write the code for that. Okay. Now coming back to standard. Suppose consider a scenario. Standard agent I have deployed on four servers. Okay, AQM. So this is working fine. Advanced agent without AQM. If I deploy on four servers, so my requirement is I want to send email notification to active accounts every day morning seven o'clock. Now this is advanced agent. Advanced agent I have deployed on four nodes. Morning seven o'clock, advanced agent will wake up on four nodes. There is no AQM. So what happens now? On node one, agent is going to send emails to customer. Node two, it will send. Or it will not send. It will send node 3, it will send node 4. So each customer, how many emails receiving? 4 emails. So now, how do you prevent this? So you need to make sure when advanced agent is deployed without a game, when advanced agent is deployed on multi node environment, make sure it should run on only one server. Remaining 3 servers, you have to disable it. Stop it. Okay. So you can go to SMA, you have 4 nodes. Three nodes you open it and then stop the agent from SMA. That is one way. There are different ways. I'll tell you about that. Okay. So, so advanced agent 
standard agent preferable to run on multiple nodes because everything prvs will take locking and all so one queue item processing another one is not going to do the same work again okay but advanced region preferable to run only on one node in only on one node oh, what is the next difference this this one clear this point everyone okay so next you look at here in the agent role form i'll save this one first job if you open the agent role form records agent <coughs> some some agent i am going to open see security tab you have access group right when you are going to use standard agent standard agent will not use this access group then standard agent runs on requesters access group while processing queue item so i'll tell you now suppose queue item 1 is been placed by manager queue item 2 is been placed by user user access group is different manager access group is different so when standard agent is going to process first queue item the activity will execute right that activity will be executed on the access group of manager that is access level will be taken second time second queue item is processing second queue item is been inserted by user so when it is executing activity now it will run on the access group of the user so standard this is how it is designed standard agent is going to run on requesters access group while processing the queue items where is advanced agent there are no queue items advanced agent runs on access group specified in agent role form in the agent role form what is access group you specify on that access group advanced agent will execute whereas standard agent you go to run on the access group of the requester who puts the item into the agent queue this is clear so these are the main differences between standard and advanced agent clear next